Grade 6 math, number 1.3, factors and prime factorization in color. Isn't that exciting? A prime number is a whole number larger than one that is only two factors, itself and one. When you multiply, the only way to get to that prime number is to multiply itself and one. So 3, 5, 7, 11, and 13 are prime numbers. They're not the answer in the times table. We ask ourselves if the number is a product or multiple of another number. Can, is it an answer in the times table? If it's not, then it's prime because prime numbers cannot be a product or a multiple of another number. So if you remember, the factors are the numbers we multiply together to get a product. The product is the answer. And the multiples of 3 are 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. They're the answers in the 3 times table. The multiples of 4 are 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. The answer's in the 4 times table, okay? So that's the easiest way to remember it. Well, prime factorization of a number is a number written of all of its prime factors. All the numbers that are just multiplied by itself in 1 as factors. If we wanted to do prime factorization for 12, we could use the divisibility rule that we learned in our last video, number 1.2. 2 is even. It ends with a 2, so we're going to try 2. So 2 times what is 12? 2 times 6. Now we can break the 6 down. 2 times what is 6? 2 times 3. This is called a factor tree. I kind of think of it more as factor roots because it's going down into the ground. The tree is supposed to go up, isn't it? So the prime factorization for 12 is 2 times 2 times 3. If we wanted to do it for 148, we can use the divisibility rule. It ends with an 8, which is even. So we're going to try 2 again. 2 times something is 148. We can do 148 divided by 2, and we get 74. And then we're going to try 2 again. 74 divided by 2 is 37. And then, is 37 the answer in the times table? No, it's not. 35 is, 36 is, but not 37, so that's done. It's prime. So the factorization for it is 2 times 2 times 37. Look at 125. The divisibility rule is that it ends in 5, so let's try 5. 5 times what is 125? 5 times 25 is. So we can break the 25 into factors of 5 times 5. So we have three fives. So the prime factorization for 125 is 5 to the third power, see, or 5 cubed. We can also use a basic fact like 10. So if you're trying to do the prime factorization for 160, we can say 10 times what is 160? 10 times 16. Then you've got to break the 10 down. 10 times what is 10? I mean, 2 times what is 10? 2 times 5. Then we've got to break the 16 down. What times what is 16? 2 times 8. Oh, what's 8 the product of? 2 and 4. Oh, we've got to break the 4 down. 2 times 2 is 4. Now we're done. Now we count up all the 2's. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we have 2 to the 5th power and a 5. So it's 2 to the 5th power and a 5. You use exponents to make your life easier. Can you imagine if we wrote 2 times 2 times 2 times 2? Oh, easier to just put a little 5 up there. Now, if you're not sure if you did it right, just multiply everything and check if it's correct. Just go backwards, okay? We can do prime factorization with a ladder diagram. You just continue dividing down until the quotient is 1. For 140, we can use the divisibility rule for 2. 140 divided by 2 is 70. Then we can use 7. 70 divided by 7 is 10. Then we've got to break up 10. That's 2 times 5. We gotta break up the five because we need to go to one, otherwise we're not done. Five is five times one. When you get to the one, you've proven to yourself and everybody that you have gone as far as you can, all right? Using the divisibility rule for five for 120, 120 divided by five is 24. Now we gotta break up the 24. Two times 12 is 24. Now we have to break up the 12. What times what is 12? Two times six. Break up the 6. 2 times what is 6? 3. And we have to get to 1, so we do a 3 and then a 1. See? So the prime factorization for the 140 turned out to be 1, 2 2's, so it's 2 to the 2nd power, 
a 5 and a 7, a 5 and a 7. For the 120, we've got 1, 2, 3, 2, so it's 2 to the third power, and there's a 3 and a 5. So, what we're doing is, we're listing the prime factors from least to greatest, from smallest to largest, and we use exponents when we can. See? That's not hard, is it? You can do that. It's just an upside-down division. Now, what number does the prime factorization represent? All we have to do is open it up. The 3 to the second power means 3 times 3, right? So we have 3 times 3 times 5. Well, 3 times 3 is 9, and we multiply that by 5, and we get 45. For this one, we have 5 times 5 times 5, because there's 5 to the third power. That means 3 fives. We multiply the 5 times 5 and get 25. We have to multiply that by 5, and we get 125. And then we multiply that by the 2, and we get 250. So 5 to the third power times 2 is 250. Can you follow that? All right, now we've got 2 to the fourth power times 3. So we need to write the 2 four times, and then multiply that by 3. So 2 times 2 is 4, and then we multiply that by 2, and we get 8. And we multiply that by 2, and we get 16, see in the red. And now we have to multiply the 16 times 3. And I did that on the side, and I got 48. So 2 to the fourth power times 3 equals 48. So that is how we do prime factorization. I want you to remember that a prime number is a whole number that is larger than 1. If anyone asks you, is 1 a prime number? Say, no, of course not. A prime number is larger than 1. So 1 can't be a prime number. And remember that prime numbers are two factors of itself and 1, and that's it. And as you're doing your prime factorization, just ask yourself, what times what equals that number? And then write those two factors. And say, what times what equals that number? And write those two factors and keep going until you can't go anymore. Okay? I actually kind of like making the trees. I think it's fun. It's like breaking down a puzzle. I hope this was helpful. And I'll see you next video. Keep up the good work. I think you can do this. Keep trying. Bye.